What's up guys, Steve Chan here, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll briefly talk about what I've added on this 12 foot aluminum boat to transport it and to put it on the water to make it a good fishing platform. Let's start with what I have on the boat that I'm transporting it. I have three points securing the boat onto the trailer. First, it's a winch. That winch is not only helpful when you try to pull the boat up from the water, it's also holding, holding the boat onto the trailer in front. And the second one here, the red one, this is from Strap Pino. I really like this strap, so I have two of them on my boat. Let me show you why. First, this one, the clip here or the hook here is very helpful. You have the clip here so it avoids the hook from popping off. This is different from the traditional ones. Like you can see here, sometimes you have it fall off if you didn't tie it secure enough. So this is advantage one. And the second one here is very easy and straightforward. You just pull the button, go 180 degree and it's releasing itself. And here you have the auto retract reel here. It's very simple. And to tighten it down, just do it this way. I really recommend this product. And in addition to this one, I have one on the back. I hook it here, throughout here, and then on the bottom, and here. So this is very important. Why I have, have three points of securing the boat to the trailer? Because the last thing you want to happen is to have the boat fall off the trailer while you are on the highway. So my point of view is, even if you have one of those three fails, you still have the other two that can tie the boat securely onto the trailer. For example, if the first one, the winch fails, you still have the front one and the rear one tying the boat securely. If the second one fails, front and rear. And if the last one fails, you're still, you still good. So this is very important, especially the last one. The way I tie it, I'm making sure that it will not pop off from the top or from the back. So here and the rear. And what I have on the boat, the seat, this is from Atwood and the seat mount, it has the swivel so it can rotate 360 degree. I tied the strap here just in case. So one of the problems or the concerns of this clamp is if you are sitting on the seat and you lean on the back, it may come off. So the strap will be very helpful if you're sitting on it. More than that, when you're traveling very high speed on the highway, you don't want to have the seat falling off. So that strap is very helpful. I highly recommend you put it on your boat. Some people drill holes uh, into the boat. That's something I don't like. I don't like to drill any holes on the boat, even on the body part. So that's how I do it. And uh, I've got the two deck built by my friend and the plastic container with the two and uh, the other two there, the four road holders from the PVC pipes. Eight pound mushroom anchor with a chain and the rope tied there. A pair of oars, I tied it down there so it doesn't come off. And this is the easy mount, trolling motor mount. I've got a video and I'll put the link up here so you can check it out why I choose this bigger mount here. I will put my trolling motor here right on the water and uh, when it's shallow and uh, I need some low speed trolling, I'll use this trolling motor. Okay, now let's put everything on the boat and show you what I have when I am fishing on this boat. This is what it looks like when I'm on the water. I typically put the outboard, fish finder, battery and trolling motor in my small car because it is only rated for a thousand pound towing capacity. I don't want to put too much weight on the trailer. Let's get started with the motors. I have a Tohazu 6 horsepower outboard, 2022 model. I believe this one has a few upgrades that make it much easier to use on the water. I have another video introducing why I picked this one, what are some tips and precautions. I'll put the link up here 
so you can check it out. I tied it with the rope, so just in case something bad happens, I can still get my boulder back. External fuel tank, because I typically go very long distance fishing trips. When I'm in the shallow water, I don't want to spook the fish, so I'm using the 46 pound thrust Newport trolling motor. I paired it with the lithium ion battery, 12 volt, 100 ampere hour, lithium ion first weight. The reason I chose this battery is because of the following. First, it may look big, however, it only weighs one third of the weight of a traditional lead acid battery, so it doesn't add too much weight onto the boat. Second, I want to be able to get back to the bank or the boat launch, even if the outboard dies, sometimes out of gas or I cannot start it anymore. This battery size is enough for a few miles so I can get it back easily. Third, sometimes on the small lakes, I don't use the outboard, the gas outboard. So I only use the battery and the trolling motor on the back. So it's good enough for a few miles, one or two mile single trip. And uh, with the battery and trolling motor and the 12 foot aluminum boat, two person on board, I can go as fast as 3.5 mile per hour with the trolling motor. And uh, for the gas motor, that's 10 to 11 mile per hour. Enough for my purposes. It is very important to have a fish finder with the maps, I mean the depth charts, so you know where you are going, how deep it is to avoid hitting on the rocks and the water. This fish finder is also great because it has the chart plotter function. So you can plot the depth chart on the new lakes where nobody knows where the underwater structure is. And uh, it also has the set wheel, which is helpful finding the suspending crappies. I put it on the kayak fish finder mount. I'll put the link down in the description. And uh, the battery I'm using is a lithium ion fast weight, 12 volt, 8 amp hour. It is good enough for power the unit for a whole day fishing trip, like 8 or 10 hours. The transducer is right here. I used the transducer's mount from Bass Pro. It only cost me 30 bucks. I have a video introducing this transducer mount if you want to check it out. I think that's about it for all my fishing setups on this 12 foot aluminum boat. Hope you guys enjoy watching this video. If you guys want to purchase anything that I have on the boat, I'll put the purchase link down in the description. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.